Hey, hey, everybody. Monkey Puzzle here. And, well, I'm not really a monkey at this point. I am an ape or a hominid. <laughs> but Monkey Puzzle works. Uh, we are playing Ancestors of Humankind Evolution. And this is my second little How to Get Started episode. I started a new clan for you all, the Monkeys Puzzlica. And just showing you a few of the things to get going, because there's a bit of a learning curve. Last time we saved a little monkey on my back and we i introduced you to the hud down there on the left the little eye with the alert and your um, dopamine hormones right below me the green circle with your health and constitution and vitality i actually don't know what the green i forget what the green one's called but that's your eating sleeping drinking and then over on the far bottom right is your clan and you and who's connected to who and so on so We've done some basics. We got some basic foods. We learned the horsetail and the berries and the cot flower. And now it's time to move on and do a few more things. Oh, yeah, we learned what water is too and how to drink it and learn how to switch characters in here. You can be any one of these monkeys and you are responsible for all of them. So a lot of things we can do. There's a ton of content in here. Uh, let's go ahead. Climb coconut. How about that? And up here, let's grab one of these. Let's inspect it. You gotta inspect everything. And you get that little, whoa, whoa, what's that? That's a cocoa. What do we do with it? All right, so we got that. And at a certain point down here, we can go ahead and we can shake. Instead of harvesting individually, drop all the coconuts. You guys all right? Hopefully I didn't drop it on anybody's head. <laughs> What can we do with the coconut? Well, in the last episode, we evolved one time and we've got motricity where we can switch hands. So let's go ahead and do that. Press X. And what switching hands allows you to do is altering and crafting. You can see now I got the little alter cube, which I have to hold the space bar. So you got to keep holding the space bar during this. So now I've got my right hand free. I guess all these these hominids are right-handed. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hold the uh, left mouse button. Now, I don't know if you heard it, but there's a cue. There's an audio cue. There's a little click. And you got to let go of the mouse button right when you hear that click. Or generally, you mess with what you're doing. So listen carefully. You hear that? Yeah, so that's almost everything has a little cue like that. All right, and I am exposing the coconut in the middle. There we go. So managed to do it right. If I had held the mouse button too long, I would have uh, destroyed the coconut probably. So now that I've got a new portion of the coconut, I need to inspect it. But to do that, I got to put it back in my right hand. And let's go ahead and check it out. And what I did there is I tapped Q instead of holding it. So that put me into intelligence mode. So I got to hold Q. And he's going to go through his amazement at the coconut. Whoa. Check it out. We got a coconut. But I can't eat it yet. It's still in its shell. So we need to get some first tool use going on. So let's go ahead and drop this. And then check these out. What are these? There's some rocks. Let's inspect them. Press and hold. Oh, looks like a rock. It smells like a rock. There's a rock. All right. So we need to go ahead and get that coconut in our hand too. So we're going to switch hands. And we're going to go ahead and grab the coconut. And then we're going to switch hands again. So we get the rock in our right hand. And I'm going to alter the whole space. And uh, you got to do this just right, because we don't want to lose that coconut. So we're going to listen for that cue again. Oh, see, I messed it up. I went too long. And my punishment now is I got to strip the coconut all over again. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. We got to switch hands and then get into the alter mode. Let's strip the coconut. Almost there. 
So you can see it's a bit of work to survive. And uh, you gotta get these skills down. Let's get that rock back. Oh, and I've got to switch hands, right. And now I can pick it up. Cool, let's, so let me see if I can do this right this time. I'm gonna focus. There we go. Sometimes it's better to let go prematurely than it is to go too far. You gotta be really light on that mouse button. But there we go, we have exposed the inside of the coconut. So let's go ahead and drop the rock now. And then switch hands. And then we can go ahead and inspect this thing. Whoa, that smells delicious. Oh yeah. All right, so we got a new food source. We can eat coconuts now. Awesome. And I'm not very hungry. I don't know if anybody else in my clan is, but uh, who is I? I'm, this is Dar, this is an adult male. And I still haven't memorized who everybody is. Who's this? This is Bio, another adult male. Okay. And okay, we got a single adult female here. I'm gonna give her the coconut as an initial gift here. I don't think that part's important, but uh, as far as what we're gonna do next, but oh, I did, I get a matured neuron from that, so that's cool. Um, but we gotta get some more babies here in the tribe um, so that if we go exploring and things happen that uh, we got a little backup for the clan, it's pretty important for survival. And if we're gonna evolve and keep our traits, we gotta have some kids, so. I'm going to bond with, uh, what's your name again? Rhett. Okay. So to do that, I got to groom her. So oop, I got to press and hold. Right click for groom. And this again has the same kind of cue system. So let's see if I can get this right. There we go. If you get it wrong, I'm going to get it wrong here on purpose. I'm going to go too short. She's like, ah, you're not grooming me right. Get that tick. Okay. And each time I get it right, we get a little bit of bonding. Oh, I held it too long there. Messed up. Got a groomer just right. Hey, so now we are a couple. And you can see that now she's connected, her little dot is connected to me. And you can also see, I didn't point out before, while I'm interacting with her, you can see how there's that little highlight coming over her down there. She, over there at around like nine o'clock, maybe eight o'clock, you can see her little circle connected with my big circle. And she's highlighted with that kind of purplish streak. So now we're a couple, um, that's all it took. And you can go ahead, when you form a relationship, you stay a couple, but then you can go ahead and bond with somebody else and you'll lose that relationship. So we've got to come over to here to our little sleeping spot. We'll work on making these later, but uh, we're going to lie down. Oh, you know what I got to do is I got to drop the kid. Stay over there, kid. Don't look. <laughs> we're going to call our mate. Like, hey, look at this nice little sleeping spot. And then we're going to mate. So I gotta hold right click and we'll just kinda, you know, look off to the side here. Nothing's happening. Nope, nope. <laughs> and then now, it took me a while to figure out how to do this. I kept grooming and grooming, trying to figure out how to have a baby, but you gotta come over here to the sleeping spot. This is a pretty important place. So uh, now I can hold right click and we're gonna go ahead and give birth. And you can skip this scene by holding tab pressing the holding tab, but we're gonna have to go through it the first time. A lot of people think you can't skip scenes in here because the normal things don't work. Oh, the little baby. Born, it's all bloody. It's came out of mama. We are building our clan. Look at what a devoted father this guy is. Yep. And then it will skip 15 months later. And little baby is up and running around, playing, sniffing. Wonder what all those little circles running around his head are. <laughs> Got the nice little red camera lighting on it. 
Woohoo! Cool. And then while we're in here, let's go ahead and check if we can learn enough to do any more evolving. We have. And in, in the beginning, it's pretty important to keep advancing these traits because uh, they allow you to do things that are pretty important in the beginning. So let's go ahead and learn this one. That's uh, item manipulation. So I'm trying to learn it. I got to hold on it for a while. Boom. It's connected. So the ability to switch an item from one hand to the other while moving is acquired. Okay, so now we have more skills. And then that opens up some new stuff. What's this? So that this is uh, another kind of dexterity. It looks like we can learn that right, right now. And then we've also opened up a neuron for communication. So kinesics, the ability to gather all clan members is acquired. Cool, that can be important. Especially if you want to go on an expedition with all of them. And let's go ahead and learn this one now. Handling. Once connected, it will be possible to drop an item while moving. Let's go ahead and build that neur neuron connection between the two. And now we've got that. So that's awesome. And that opens up more further possibilities. So there's stuff all the way out here. All these little black dots are new things we can develop. And there's this one here. The baby blue has an increased capacity to metabolize food. The spontaneous genetic mutation will be defined once Bu reaches adulthood. So we have to go to the next generation for this to, to come into effect, but it's sitting there latent, waiting to happen. Um, but we're not gonna do that right now. You're not, we're not aging at all right now. It's gonna be a big jump and we'll leap into the future. Uh, for this to happen and that's not going to happen this episode Let's go ahead. So now you can see before we had two reinforcements Now we had three and they don't work on these, but they do work on these So when we do leap to the next generation The elders will die the adults will become elders and the kids will become adults These two traits will stay and I've got one more of those but if you learn more traits than you have kids then uh, you'll lose them and you'll have to develop them all over again. All right, so let's go ahead and get out of here. It's not escape, but backspace. Cool. Um, so we're going by leaps and bounds. I could mate already again. Might as well do it. Because I guess 15 years have passed. <laughs> so, or no, 15 months have passed. We're going to discreetly look off to the ceiling again here. Um, and then go ahead and give birth. So this time, I'm going to press and hold tab. And we're going to skip that, and we're going to go straight to having a new baby. So, yep, our clan is growing quickly. So we can pick up a baby. Let's see. Oh, and I accidentally started an expedition, but let's go ahead and do that. This is a new thing we just learned. If I hold right-click now, I can gather the clan. Come here, everybody. Let's have a meeting. Yep. Come on. Everybody come over here. Yeah. And so now if we all wanted to go somewhere, everybody would follow me. And we could go get into danger and go get eaten by lions and tigers and everything like that. And the only way to get out of this is to get back to a sleeping spot. And then here I get the prompt to end expedition well, that's cool all right so let's pick up some babies it's uh we can have our little xp buff got that now you can actually pick up two babies at a time one's on the front one's on the back <laughs> maybe they'll shield you from harm when creatures try to eat you will eat them first <laughs> that's terrible i think babies are okay if uh they're not picked up while you're here, but if you're playing the character, you want to have babies. I don't know if two babies is better than one when you're doing stuff, but uh, you can. All right, so let's do a few more things here. Uh, we got uh, another half of this episode to go, so let's learn a few more things. So over here, if I go to these, turns out I can grab them. So let's go ahead and inspect that. Oh. 
Check them out. They're a, they smell like a tool. Natal grass cycad. So we can switch hands. Grab another one. We carry two hands full of stuff. And maybe right here, we'll go ahead and drop. And then let's switch hands. And we can alter those, but uh, we don't need the thing you can get. You can strip them down to the stem. But we're going to go ahead and look at this other one. And if you're looking at it, we can press C and add those to a pile. We're going to need a bit more. So let's go get some more. Got that. And uh, let's see. Let's uh, switch hands and grab some more. And then add it to the pile. Boink. Switch hands. And add the pile. Okay, so now we can start construction. And I think wherever your ape is 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 squatting is where the thing's gonna be when you're done. So position yourself where you want it to be. Let's see, let's put it right how about right here. Okay. Alright, so Oh yep, yeah, see that they went there. And now the build I gotta press space. And it's not a press and hold this time, I'm just kind of pounding on it. This is the only point of view I can have when I'm doing it. So I'm just gonna keep pressing space, and boom! We got another bed, another sleeping spot. So that's cool, and you guys have learned how important these are. So if we were on an expedition somewhere, you could make one on the spot. So there, we've got like three sleeping spots in the clan now. Hopefully that's enough for everybody, we can make some more. Uh, we're getting a little, seeing a little red there. Let's go ahead and drink some water. The whole clan's gonna come over and drink some water. I think they, hopefully they only come if they're thirsty. Okay, so I'm not getting any more out of that. And then we can eat some horsetails. I'm not gonna do the coconut yet, cause uh, oh, and I'm, I'm not hungry apparently. All right, so we're good with that. Um, let's do a few other things, so. Let me see, we've learned about the rock that was over here, these guys, right? So let's go ahead and grab that, switch hands, grab that. So these were basalt, let's make, we can make a little basalt pile here. And then, uh, oh yeah, we got switch hands and then add to the pile. So that's a little pile of basalt. There are a couple other rocks to learn. And I don't know if I should get into this now because I actually still need to learn what all the thing, what all the different combinations of rocks and altering do. You can see we have some other rocks that look different here. And if I didn't know they were here, I could have pressed tap Q and look around. And uh, then go ahead and press intelligence. And you can see, it points out all the stuff I need to learn. So what's that? That's a sleep spot. We already knew that, right? And what's that? That's natal grass cycad. We already knew that. What's this? See, it had the little scary eyes of the unknown. What is it? Let's go check it out. Grab one and inspect it. Ooh, what's that? Oh, smells like obsidian. Yeah, so that's another kind of rock. Grab that. And I still need to learn what all the different kind of rocks are for. But maybe next episode we'll do, we'll kind of compare them all. But let's make little piles of each here in the meantime. Uh, so we can go ahead and drop that one. And before we drop this one, actually, I think basalt would work for this um, but I think I know we can do it with obsidian too let's grab a coconut and switch the hands and then get into the altar mode um, and now let's listen for a little cue let's not ruin our coconut there we go and when you do it right you can see the little little pieces come off of it we're breaking into the coconut but we didn't strip it first this time discovered a new alteration. So that's done. We can go ahead and let's add that to the obsidian pile. 
And now if we switch our hands, we can go ahead and s inspect this. What is it? Mmm. Smell, taste, look. Oh my god. Oh, yummy. So now, instead of eating the coconut, we can drink from it. I don't want to waste that because I'm not thirsty. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it and leave it here. Um, but yeah. And then if we get out of this mode, I don't know. I guess we got to drink some more of it. I want to show you all something. Let's go ahead and grab it. And let's drink some more of it. I wonder if I need to be thirsty for it to work. There it is. I guess I got to drink the whole thing. We just got another buff. So I know the one on the left is it's two fangs. It's poison. So some things will kind of poison you, but you'll get a little poison buff if you drink from coconut. The other little shield with the two looks like two circles, two berries or two coconuts or whatever. I don't know what that one is. So if you guys know, definitely let me know what that is. So let's see. Let's do a few more things before we wrap up this episode. But just trying to show you guys the basics of getting started. There's so much more to learn beyond this. Now, we're going to come over here and see those little branches highlight. And again, if we didn't know about this, I could have pressed Q, get in there, pressed intelligence. And it would give me a little square there of like, hey, what's that? Okay, well, let's go check it out. Let's go grab one. And let's inspect it. Oh, what is it? It's a dead branch. So, in that mode where, you know, uh, we get into our senses and intelligence, the more of the stuff we learn, the m m less fear of the unknown that we have. And that's kind of the way to extend out without being frightened. And as we venture out, we're going to need to conquer all these little squares. And then we will know more about our environment and we'll be less scared of it. Now, there definitely are things to be scared of out there. But uh, we'll get, you know, we'll deal with that when that comes. Anyway, so we got a branch here. What can we do anything with it? Well, I can switch hands and do this. And then we're going to try to alter this branch. So we're going to listen for that little click again, the little cue. Right there. Stripping. Dead branches can be modified. So now we've got to switch and inspect again. All right. It's a stick. <laughs> we've, we've evolved it from a dead branch to a stick. Uh, and that's very good. So now we switch again. Now, I don't know which rock is the best for this. Uh, let's see if we can grab a piece of obsidian. And uh, sounds like that looks like that's going to work. So let's get into this mode again. And let's see if we can do something else with this stick. So we're going to listen for that click again. Yep. And we're starting to sharpen the stick. I'm concentrating because if I mess it up, I'm going to smash the whole stick. And it takes a bit. I've heard once you learn how to make better rock tools, it won't take as long. Hey! We've discovered a new alteration. So let's put the uh, obsidian back in the obsidian tool uh, pile. All right, and then let's uh, switch hands and inspect the stick. All right, it's a sharpened stick. So yeah, we've got tools now. And this would be very handy, too, out in the wild to defend ourselves with. So let's learn another thing here. We're just learning so much so fast, I can barely handle it. I'm going to get a headache. <laughs> uh, let's get back into this mode. And Q. 
and then E. And then what's that square over there? I don't know. All right, let's go check it out. So this one, we can just go ahead and inspect. No, I'm inspecting the stick. All right, maybe I need to switch hands so it's not in my primary hand. And um, maybe we gotta go drop the stick. Let's see. Okay, we gotta switch hands, drop it. All right, let's come check this out again. And there we go. Inspect. What is this area? It seems different than the rest of the river. It's a new gathering spot. It's the fishing spot. So I guess all the fish hang out there. Let's go get our little stick again. And do some of our first hunting. Right, get over here. Somewhere in here, we'll get a new cue to poke. And again, we're gonna have the the audio cue. It's gonna be a little hard to hear with the rain. Oh, and look, first try. We got a fish. That's a nice looking fish. Looks like that one in the beginning. You don't always get a fish. Sometimes you get other things. But let's go ahead and inspect it. Whoa, that smells fishy. Bass. Excellent. So, to get the fish off the stick, we got to switch hands. And now we got to get into alter mode. And we got to be careful. We don't want to ruin our fish. All right. Now I got a fish. So, and I already know what it is, so apparently I can eat it already. So let's go ahead and eat some fish. Oh, I know I'm shivering. Uh, but let's go ahead and eat this. Yum, yum, yum. But apparently raw fish doesn't suit me very well. I might not be hungry either. So I've got some stomach issues now. So let's go ahead and drop the fish. So we're not hungry. And drop the stick. Now, if you get poisoned or bad stomach or whatever that is the way to get rid of it is by drinking you can see as I drink that goes down and so you can kind of just flush it out we're going through a lot of stuff you can see right now I am having issues with cold I was shivering and you can see that you're seeing some of the red in my middle circle there the green health is going down and it's not liking it. it saw me shivering so let's go back over to that cot bush and let's get the anti-cold buff from it that's going to be pretty important so yeah you definitely got to use these buffs if i'm going to do some extensive swinging from the trees i would probably eat some horsetails first oh and i was sprinting holding uh space and because I, I let go of sprint while I was still holding space, I jumped. And that's how you jump. But anyway, let's grab one of these and let's go ahead and eat it. And I grab the next one. And the next one. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. But that gives me a buff against the cold. So maybe I can call the clan over here. Hey everybody! I got something to show you. I might be too far away. Y'all gonna come down here? Can help you out with that cold. Let's see. Yeah, the rain's ending now anyway. But if I'd called everybody when I was closer and I brought them over there, they would all eat the cot too. And that would have helped them a lot. So. We've hit the half hour mark. Let's go over here to our new bed and let's go get a little sleep. I'm going to go ahead and drop this cot right here and get in this cot and lie down. And let's get a little sleep and get to daytime. 
Let's see what kind of dreams we have tonight. I really like the dream imagery. I think it's pretty cool. Oh, there's a big old crocodile. And then there is somewhere else. All right. And got the same dream twice there. All right. And it made it to daytime. Before we end this episode, let's see if we got any more evolution from all that stuff we did. And it looks like we didn't. Yeah, so we have more stuff to do before we can learn more. But I think that um, you guys got the point on that. Anyway, there's tons more to do. But that's pretty good for the first hour of our evolution of our ancestors here. Trying to work our way from hominid to human. So, yeah. Thank you for watching until the end of this episode with me. As technically we're not monkeys, but uh, as we monkey puzzle our way through evolution. So this is a really cool game. I'm really digging it. It's really beautiful. We didn't even really go f very far out into the environment. We've been doing everything in this little area, but there's so many beautiful scenes out there and everything. And I get very attached to my little clan. I feel very responsible for getting them, helping them survive and getting them into the future, especially because I am every one of them. So it takes away that individuality, you know, so we could go into this one and switch and say goodbye as this dude. <laughs> All right, everybody, this is Monkey Puzzle with my second clan in Ancestors. Again, thank you for watching until the end of this video, and I will Monkey Puzzle with you in the next one. Bye-bye.